Hi everyone, I'm making this video to share with you a method I found to play FPS games in VR using the UE VR injector, with a gamepad or with keyboard and mouse while aiming with the movements of my head. I absolutely love VR with 6 degrees of freedom, and VR controllers, etc. However, sometimes I might be a bit lazy. I just want to sit back in my chair in front of my PC, especially for games that weren't originally designed for VR. This way of playing can also suit people with health issues or certain disabilities that make holding their arms up for too long painful or impossible. I had this issue due to a shoulder problem at one point. I know that for many, VR without hand controls might seem pointless. But for me, just being immersed in real 3D with realistic scale, depth perception, and being able to look around in 3D space by simply turning my head is already amazing. Now, what's the problem with the basic functionality of UE VR for playing FPS games while aiming with the head? I'll show you using the example of Ready or Not. First, you'll need to change this setting here to select Head HMD. The issue is that your head seems to control some sort of invisible central point, but you can't use the actual weapon sights. You'll always be misaligned when moving your head. I'll show you the technique I use. But note that I've only tested it on two games, High on Life and Ready or Not, so there might be issues I'm not aware of with other games. First, you'll enable room scale movement in the input tab. This will constrain the camera to 3 degrees of freedom. Then go to key bind and bind a key for the set position origin option. For example, I use the end key. The next step is to ensure that when the position is reset, our eye is right in front of the sight when using right click to aim. To do this, you'll need to change the camera position. We'll use a different method than the settings in the camera tab. We'll go to advanced options, then main, common object, camera manager, and attach camera to. Now adjust the settings precisely to be perfectly aligned using your key to refresh the position. The idea will then be to use an external program to simulate the use of this key in a loop when aiming with the right click in order to constantly update the position and always be in front of the sight. There are several solutions to do this, and after having done numerous tests on different programs, I found the best results with Voice Attack. It's a software that allows you to emulate key presses using voice commands, but it's much more than that. It allows us to do exactly what we need, and it will be very useful for its voice functions in all VR games with a large number of commands, such as ready or not. It's difficult to navigate with a keyboard while wearing a VR headset, and it's impossible to have enough buttons on an Xbox controller. Therefore, I highly recommend using this program, which is available on Steam with a free demo and a paid version for $10. Alternatively, you can create a script with Auto Hotkey. ChatGPT can help you with that, but personally, I couldn't find a way to avoid certain interference problems between keys when playing with the keyboard. So, in the voice attack software, here's what you'll do. Start by creating a new profile, then a new command. You can give it a name, leave when I say checked or unchecked depending on whether you want to activate it by voice command or not. I'll disable it and check press key to use the shift plus end command. Next, we'll go to the advanced options of other to find features similar to what we can have with a programming language. We'll start by creating an infinite loop and then add a condition to check for the right click. Inside this condition, we'll specify that the end key must be pressed and released. Then, we'll add one last condition to end the script. I'll select Compound Condition Builder to test if Alt and N are pressed at the same time. If that's the case, the consequence will be to stop the loop. We'll validate and apply it. Now, if we look in a text editor, if I right-click here, nothing happens. Then, I press Shift plus N, and now, right-click allows me to write a lot of N letters. But if I press Alt plus N, it's no longer possible. Once in the game and with the script running, everything works fine, and I can finally aim with my head. Now, if you want to use a controller, and your game doesn't offer compatibility like Ready or Not, or if you want more advanced control, I highly recommend the Joy to Key program, which is free and very easy to use for mapping your keys. 
Now I'll show you an example of a camera problem that I can solve with voice attack or joy to key. If in the game, I want to use the mirror gun under a door. The problem is that the camera doesn't go far enough. I'm stuck inside the 3D mesh, and I can't physically move forward because we're no longer in 6 degrees of freedom. To solve this problem, I configured a camera that I adjust slightly higher and further forward. And then I bind a key for this camera and also for the neutral camera. Now, enjoy to key. I use a button on my Xbox controller to switch between cameras. In the second tab, I can set up two inputs. The first time I press the key, it presses F7, so it uses camera 2, and if I press it again, it presses F5, so it goes back to camera 0, and so on. A similar problem happens with the use of the tablet in VR. When you open the tablet, it's too far away and not easy to read. So, I configured and bound another camera. This time, I don't want to use a key from my controller for this. I'll use a voice command to open the tablet and change the camera. I create a new command. When I say, Open tablet. The tab key is pressed for one second because a long press is needed to fully open the tablet. Then, a second key is pressed, which is F6, so we use camera 1. I do the same with the close tablet command, except I indicate F5 for camera 0. Open tablet. Close tablet. There are, of course, many other very useful commands. That's it. I hope that other people may be interested in this way of playing in VR, and that this video may have been helpful. Leave a comment if you have any questions, and I'll try to answer them.